Hello and welcome to Bespoke Unit. My name is Paul Anthony and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Cigar Medics Humidimeter. So here we have the uh, Cigar Medics lineup. The, uh, the main device here is a humidimeter. We also have the calibration tool as well as a case for the humidimeter as well. Operations are pretty simple. All you gotta do is uh, remove the cap which protects the sensor prongs and turn it on. First of all, I'm just gonna show you how to use the, the device to make sure it's uh, fully calibrated and correct. So when you touch the two metal prongs to the end of the calibration device, it should read 70. So once we've done that, now we're ready to go ahead and actually test the cigar. I've pulled out a uh, Perla Del Mar here. It's been sitting in the humidor behind me for a couple of months now with 69% uh, uh, Boveda RH packs. So we're gonna make sure that the device is on and we're gonna simply put the prongs into the bottom of the cigar. Give it a few seconds just to run through and make sure that it's gonna be calibrated correctly. And there we have it. The cigar's reading 68, 67, which is gonna offer an optimal smoking experience. On the back of the packaging, for the device itself. Uh, it comes with a nice handy guide to tell you uh, what you should actually be looking for. So this is in fact a moisture content device and not an RH device. So what they have done is converted the moisture of the cigar, which should be around 10 to 15% moisture into an RH reading because most of us cigar smokers are much more familiar with relative humidity readings. So are we gonna get a reading anywhere between zero and 60? The cigar is most likely going to be too dry. With evaporations of natural oils from the cigar, there's an increased risk of cracking and breakage of the outer wrapper, as well as a fast burn and bitter taste of the cigar. If the cigar reads between 60 and 70% on the device, we're gonna expect a slow even burn and smoke with a smooth even draw and optimal flavor and taste. And then finally, if the device is reading over 70%, we're most likely gonna have a difficult draw of smoke, uneven burn or tunneling and an increased probability of mold, all of which I agree with. In the next segment of the video, we're gonna be going over particular use cases for this device, and then we're gonna round it out with should you buy this device and is it worth the money? Okay, so now we've seen the unit in action, let's talk about a few use cases that I think this device will be useful for. First of all, which I think will apply to most cigar smokers, is that when you buy cigars from a brick and mortar outlet, as well as online, uh, you may wanna check the cigars when you get them home to make sure that they're in optimal smoking condition. So just bring them home, take the cap off, test if they're in the ideal RH range. If they're a little bit low, you may wanna sit them in the humidor for a little bit longer. If they're a little bit high, you may wanna dry box them, dry them out a little bit. So there are a couple of options where this device will be great, especially when buying new cigars. Another great way to use the device, in uh, my opinion, is to check how evenly humidity is being spread throughout your larger humidors, such as the large fridges behind me. Uh, I use Boveda packs spread throughout the unit. However, there is a water reservoir, which some guys choose to utilize, and that's obviously gonna have a higher RH around that area and dry in other parts of the unit. You also have the, the option to use calibrated hygrometers such as the sensor push, but as a double backup, especially for potentially more expensive cigars, this is probably a nice little fail safe device to check whether the cigar you're selecting is gonna be optimal to smoke at the time. And the third and possibly the most interesting use case that I'm gonna be using it for and have been using it for the last several months is to try cigars at different RH levels. Behind me, in the three different uh, fridges, I have different RH levels. So I have 65% here, which I store Old World stroke Cuban cigars in. And then the rest of the fridges behind me, I have a 69% RH with Boveda packs of New World. However, there are a few New World cigars that I already know I like to smoke at lower RH levels, one of which is the Opus X. If you wanted to play around with that, which is a kind of a nice little thing to do, you can always pull out a few cigars and put them in a humidor bag, such as this Boveda one, and then put lower RH packs in it, such as 62%, you could have a 65% and a 69%, test them with the, with the device to make sure that the 
RH desired level, smoke them and then see how the flavor profile differs for your particular palate and if you enjoy smoking them at one RH level over another. So I think that's probably one of the most fun ways to use this device to kind of see where your cigar investment is best smoked for you personally. So let's talk about cost of the device. The main device here in my hands sits at just under $30. The calibration tool sits around 12 and then the case is 10. So for $50 for the entire package, I think it offers outstanding value to someone like myself, who's a larger collector, but also the occasional smoker who may not have the uh, exact setup such as I have here to make sure that when they've been storing cigars, they're gonna be optimal to smoke and they continue that passion and continue to enjoy all that the cigar community and smoking cigars has to offer by smoking optimally stored and cigars are optimal to smoke at that particular time. So with all of that being said, I hope you do like this video. If you have any other suggestions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Also like the video if you did like it and subscribe to our channel where you're gonna see lots more cigar related content as well as other men's lifestyle topics such as alcohol, suits, shoes, watches, men's fragrance, and much more. With all of that being said, my name is Paul Anthony, and I'll see you in the next one.